There we go. All right. Okay. So without further ado, let's start praying. First thing I'm going to do, uh, I've kind of done this already. I'm going to do it again. There is a prayer that we say when we come into our shul, our sanctuary, and it is from the book of Numbers, uh, some uh, king, some Moabite warrior that took control of Moab. His name was Balak. He hired somebody he knew from Mesopotamia named Balaam, who uh, was had the ability to curse people. He knew when God was sitting in judgment, what time of the day. So he knew that at that point, people would be weak because they were being judged. And he knew when to curse them. Uh, God, however, Hashem had other plans. And he said, no, that's I've got some other ideas. And instead of the, it, he's turned, God turned Balaam's curses into blessings. And there were three of them. The last blessing, how goodly are your dwellings, O Jacob, your sanctuaries, O Israel. And the rabbis were so impressed that they wanted to put it into the prayer service. So when we start our service, we say we make that declaration from uh, that passage. And as you see, the next step would be to put on this. Um, some people put this on and then go say it. It's it's really kind of a preference. Um, it's up to your minchag. Minchag is the Hebrew word for tradition. We all have different traditions. So our first affirmation is a gift. We thank uh, God for having a working body with orifices that basically work. And if any of those orifices were to close up, we'd be in big trouble. The next affirmation, prayer affirmation that we say is gift for the soul. God, you... Um, God, you've uh, the soul you've placed in me is pure. You created it, you fashioned it uh, for me. You will take it from me when I die. However, you will return it to me in the life to come. Eloha, Eloha, Hai Neshama, Shenata. Thank you, Metati, Tehorahi, Atavarata, Atayatsarta. Continuing. The next thing we do is we say prayers for from the Torah, um, about reading the Torah. As we go through our prayer service, we're going to be reciting passages from the Torah, so it's appropriate to say blessings from the Torah. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to say before that is, it's a passage I got from a different prayer book. It says, basically, I hereby take upon myself the commandment to love my neighbor as myself. So these are blessings of the Torah. And we say this, which is a passage when we come up for Aliyah, when we come up to witness the reading of the Torah during the Torah service. <laughs> Having recited a blessing for the Torah, it's important that we now do the thing that we said the prayer that we were going to do, which is recite a passage. Uh, it's traditional to say a passage from the book of Numbers. This is the priestly blessing. May Hashem bless you and safeguard you. May Hashem illuminate his countenance for you and be gracious to you. May Hashem turn his countenance to you and establish peace for you. Recite something from the Mishnah, the precepts that have no, no prescribed measure. That is something you just do. Uh, leave the corners of your field so the poor can take it. First fruit of the offering, uh, acts of kindness and Torah study. 
From the Talmud, precepts whose fruits a person enjoys in the world to come. Uh, honor your parents, acts of kindness, uh, house of, go to the house of study morning and evening, hospitality to guests, visit the sick, providing for a bride, escorting the dead, absorption in prayer, bringing peace between man and his fellow and between a husband and wife. But the study of Torah is equivalent to them all. So I'm not going to go through the whole service. Uh, I can do it myself. It takes about 45 minutes, but you'd be sitting there scratching your heads. But what I am going to do is I'm going to recite some important passages. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to recite the passage of two of the parchments that go in the head to fill in and the arm to fill in. Now, I'm very proud of these to fill in. These to fill ins were belonged to my great grandfather. They're over 100 years old. I had them restored. OK, had a new strap put on. Uh, this strap is still the original one. I'm careful for it because the original strap here that we had kind of broke. It's been all it's old. Um, but for me, reciting this blessing, wearing these to fill in, um, being the Jew geek that I am is just completely an honor. And I love wearing these while I do these prayers. OK, so this is from Exodus chapter 13, verses one to 10. And this is in there because it contains the commandment to put on the prayers on your arm and wear them on your head. The next two passages are. Uh, this is the idea uh, of um, when we left Egypt and how uh, we are to set, conquer and settle the land. And um, also it's the talks about the Passover, seven month, seven days you eat matzah. And I'm going to recite this with the cantillation, which I've actually wrote in the book myself. I'm not much of a geek. Yes, I am. But a burn and I am a shelly mohor, Kadeshli Pobaho, or Pete, Rekham of Nesra, Elba, Damuba, Hima, Hali Puhu, the old Mermosha, Ella Ah, Zahor, Yomaza, Sherry, et Satami, the Trine Beta Badi, he remembered when you came out of Israel. Ki Hosek Yahad with a strong arm, Hotzi, Adonai, Kamiza, Havaloi, Hohameh, Ayomet Ham, Atehem, Yiti, Himba, Hodesh, Havihi, Biakivia, Hivia, Hadana, Ah, Ah, for seven days eat matzah. Matzah, seventh day is a day for Hashem. At Shivacham Ayami, Himalo Yerelacha, Kame, so Yerelacha, Sigur, Kulhok, Lacha, the Yatali Vinacha, Biyoma, who lay more by Warzo, Doze, I said a knife, Lee, but say Tim, it's Rahim, the Yaha, the Hala Yadaka, you put a sign upon your arm, the Zikarum, Bene Naka, remember it between your eyes, Lama, Tia, Torada, and I, the Fika, Kihosek Yaha, Dotsia. Hotsi Achachad and Ahai, me Mitrahim, Mush Marta, Zotazo, Doman, the Moadaha, Miami, Hima, Yaminaha. Okay, this is dedicating the firstborn. Since God spared the firstborn of the Israelites, we now dedicate the firstborn, our children, uh, we redeem, right? Right? We put it on our arms. 
So now we do a um, bunch of morning uh, prayers that basically thank God for all the faculties, the fact that we can get up out of bed, that we can realize we have consciousness, we're aware, we're awake, and all the wonderful things we can do as humans. So, bless, uh, blessed are you, Hashem, our God, the King of the universe, who gave us the heart, gave the heart understanding to distinguish between day and night. Amen. Who has not made us genteel. Who has not made us slaves. Very controversial prayer. Who has not made me a woman because men have to do more commandments than women do. So we're thanking God for the extra burden. Women are more highly evolved. They don't need to do time-based commandments. They're home taking care of the kids. They give birth. They give birth. They create life. They're closer to God, right? So men are thankful for the extra burden. Amen. For uh, give sight to the blind. Who closed the naked? Releases the bound. Amen. Straightens the bed. Spreads out the earth among the waters. Amen. Provides us with our every needs. Amen. Who firms our footsteps. Amen. Girds Israel with strength. We need that right now. Amen. Who crowns Israel with splendor. Amen. Who gives strength to the weary? We have an awesome responsibility to the world to show them how it's done. Who removes sleep from our eyes and slumber from our eyelids? Do I like to include the woman? Keep us, don't bring us into the power of error, nor into the power of transgression and sin, nor into the power of challenge, nor into the power of scorn. Let not the evil inclination dominate us, distance us from an evil person and an evil in, in, uh, companion, attach us to the good inclination. I'm going to skip around a little bit. I'm going to come here. We are obliged to thank you, praise you, glorify, sanctify you, and offer you praises. This is a place where we can actually do the Shema. I'm going to take a break. Give me one second, please. All right, sorry about that. A little message from my beloved wife, the Robinson. I always got to give preference to that, right? Okay, so it's... um. I'm going to do the Shema. This is a place in the morning where we can do the Shema. Typically, there are blessings of the Shema in the main part of our Shachri uh, morning service. But sometimes we can, but it's inserted here. And I'm going to do the uh, 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 the Ahavta, which is the first paragraph. 
there is a specific times that we that we do things. It kind of puts us in touch with nature and with God. And since the prayer service, the morning service has taken the place of the morning offering, it's important. It's incumbent upon us to do it within that time frame, three hours after, within three hours after sunrise. So it's we can do this here to make sure we get it. If we think we may not, you know, by the time we get to the Shema in the regular part of the service, it may be a little too late. You know, I, I mean, you're not going to get hit by lightning bolts, folks, but, you know, it's just important to respect the process. So I'm going to do the Shema here and I'm going to be touching the tefillin blocks again. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. It's a declaration. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And then we say in an undertone, blessed is his name, is the name of his glorious kingdom for all reality, for all eternity. Uh, it's not in the Torah. That's why it's whispered. It's also an angelic recitation, which is why we only do it during Yom Kippur when we're holy enough. We're not eating. We're not, we're not drinking. We're standing uh, like angels who have no knees, who don't sit down. Uh, that's when we're holy enough to say that. And now to be a hafta, the commandment to love God with all your heart, your soul, you know, your resources be, and you're supposed to understand the commandments, take them upon your heart and put them as signs upon your arm and your head. it was you, Hashem, who created the world. Sanctify, and we sanctify your name through those who, sanct who sanctify your name in the universe. So in the art scroll, in the art scroll Sidor, this is uh, a, a or an Orthodox uh, prayer book. There's now a section where we can recite passages from the Torah, and I'll give you those passages. And basically, it's the various offerings that they do in the morning. So the first one is the laver, okay, the laver for laver, you know, laver, for those of you that speak a Latin language, it means wash. And the first thing we do is wash our hands, which we've done as we get up in the morning. We take uh, some water, one, uh, we tell, grab it in the left hand, one, two, three, grab it in the right hand, one, two, three, which I've done. Um, and we go through the commandments just kind of as an homage and also to acknowledge that this is where our prayer services come. So this is making the big bowl, the labor, the wash basin, two spigots, one on top for the hands, one on the bottom of the bowl for the uh, feet. But, uh, and this is from Exodus chapter 30, verses 17 to 21. Before you do anything, before the priests do anything else, any offerings, they wash their hands. Aaron and his sons. Wash your hands and feet. That you not die. For every generation. Now it's the taking of the ashes. They had to, before they did the burnt offerings that they did every day, they had to take the ashes and get rid of it. And for some reason, the Levite ministers, they all wanted to do this. Amakum Tahor, but Ishamis Bear to cut bow, low tick bear. 
This is the Tamid offering. Okay, this is the everlasting light that we have up here. Every synagogue has one. And it was to be kept burning, even if it meant lighting a light on Shabbat and doing the work of putting the board, putting the wood in there. This is a commandment that actually overread, overrode Shabbat because we want that ever that we want that eternal light up there. Some feel it it um, symbolizes the eternity of God. <clears throat> and uh, in during a service, it's uh, traditional to stand during this part of the service. and I'm sorry, it's it's passage numbers, book of numbers, chapter 20, verses one to eight. Now we go to Leviticus chapter one, verse 11, and where the uh, priests are supposed to slaughter the burnt offering. So you might hear me chanting according to his specific melodies. In the Torah, well, in the Chumash, in the Torah, there's, uh, there's just the letters, but there are things called cantillations, and they are for emphasis. Uh, I feel personally there's kind of a spirituality to it. I know some of you are into Buddhist Buddhism, uh, you know, the Buddhist chanting. Uh, to me, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, I kind of get a little bit of a rush from doing it. I'm going to fix this a little bit. So, um, but it's really there for emphasis. It's kind of for grammar, you know, where you pause. You know, you've heard some places where, you know, there's a, a very... Um, Flour flourishing, embellished kind of a, a cantillation of melody. And that's really to make a point because that's a very important point. Okay, now we have the incense. And this is from Exodus chapter 30, verses 34 to 36. And then we go back and do verses seven to eight. By, uh, in both all in Exodus, by Yomer and I, Moshe, Kach Chasamim, and these are all the commandments. Not Tafu Achelve, Abachelve, Chabanah Hasamim, Ulvanah Zakah, Baruch Bavah Diyeh, Vasita Taktoret, Rokach Mosei, Rokach Mulat Achor Kodesh, Veshachak Tami Mehen Uchadei, Benat Tami Mehen Ulifnei, Alibut Bohem Oeir Esher, Abayei Lachasamah, Kodesh Kadeshim Tiyeh Lachem. This is verses seven to eight in Exodus thirty. So those are the morning readings. I'm also going to do on a Bakoach, which is uh, kind of a Kabbalistic recitation where we ask God to give us strength and sustain us. so I'm going to go straight to the next part of our service. Um, obviously, I'm skipping some things here. Uh, this is Pizukete Zimra, hymns of praise. This is where, you know, we're during the week, we can have prayers of supplication, where we ask God for things, because on Shabbat, everything is uh, done, we're completed, and you don't ask for anything, because then you've, you've really kind of um, gone against the theme of Shabbat, which is completion. That's what the word shalom means. It means peace because mishalei means complete. So, Sukkot Zimra, if you're going to ask somebody for something, you want to flatter them a little bit first, not, you know, 
totally, but just a little bit. So there are certain prayers of praise that we say. This is Baruch She'amar, um, where we say, blessed is he who fulfills his word, who created the earth, etc. And it's traditional to take hold of the front two tzitzit of our talit, hold it by our heart. Baruch Shemar Vahayalam Baruch Hu Hu Baruch Hosevere Shi Baruch Omer Vosei Baruch Hoserem Kayim Baruch Melachim Ha'aretz Baruch Merachim Ha'abriot Baruch Meshalem Sachar Tov Vire Ahav Baruch Merachim Ha'abriot Baruch Meshalem Sachar Tov Vire Ahav Baruch Ha'alayad Kayam Lanetzach Baruch Badeh Matzil Baruch Shemoho Baruch Hatad Anay Lahinu Melech Ha'olam Ha'el Ha'av Baruch Hamam Omorom Ufeam Moho Vishu Bachum Poar Bushon Chazidah Ba'abad Avashi and we and we release uh there is a long set of verses here which i'm going to pass through i'm going to go right now uh to a group of verses which we recite with intensity. May the glory of Hashem endure forever. Uh, re rejoice in his works. Blessed be the name of Hashem. Hashem's name is praise, high above nations, uh, and so on. Establishes throne in the heavens. Yesamahu Ashamim Batageha Aret Vium Ruba Goyim Adonai Malach Adonai Malach Adonai Malach Adonai Malach Lilamba Ed Adonai Malach Olamba Ed Rab Kugoyim Artsu Adonai Fear at Sagoyim Aini Machshvot Amihim Rabot Machshvot Belit Ish Vatsahu Adonai Hitakuhun Atsa Adonai Lilam Tamod Machshvot Libi Dorba Libo Dorba Dohor Kiku Omar Biehi this last verse you hear uh, various prayers throughout our prayer service. He, the merciful one, is forgiving of iniquity and does not destroy. Frequently, he withdraws his anger, not arousing his entire rage. Hashem, save me. The king answer us on the day we call. Now we come to Psalm 145, which is called the Ashrei. And it's done al alphabetically. Uh, and it starts with the word Aleph, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And it goes to top. Said, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every little thing, so we every uh, living thing, and we touch our 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 uh, feeling as we do this. Hallelujah. 
So while there's a few Psalms uh, that we do here, Psalms 145, which is Ashrei, and to 150, that's done every day. Those are the last uh, six Psalms of the Book of Book of Psalms, Book of Tehillim. I'm just going to go to Psalm 150, which is the end, which is where we praise God by using all these instruments. And they would do that. They would use those instruments in the temple to praise God. Um, but here we just sing it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Bikacho, Hallelujah, Birkia Uzo, Hallelujah, Bivuro Tav, Hallelujah, Kuro Kudlo, Hallelujah, Bate Kasho Far, Hallelujah, Veneva Vachinor, Hallelujah, Betofu Macho, Hallelujah, Bamini Beuga. Hallelujah, betil tzle shama. Hallelujah, betil tzle tru ah the trumpet. Kol shama te hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Kol shama te hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen V'Amein, Baruch Adonai Metzion, Shokhen Yerushalayim, Alleluia, Baruch Adonai Elohim, Elohei Yisraelo, Senufla, Ot Levado, Baruch Shem Kavodo Le'olam, V'yamalei Kavodo, Ot Kol Ha'aretz, Amen V'Amein. So I'm going to skip the next section of Pesuk and Zimra, which basically recounts the Song of the Sea. That's in our daily prayers. And when I say daily, I mean all the time. During the week, during Shabbat, during the festivals. Uh, it's just for gratitude. Instead, I'm going to go to the last prayer of Pesuk Eti Zimra, which is Yishtabach, which means we shall praise. And it contains 15 expressions of praise for God. And it's to be done really kind of as a continuous stream with one breath if you can do it. And those various so praises are song and praise, louding and hymns, power and dominion, triumph, greatness and strength, praise and splendor, holiness and sovereignty, blessings and thanksgiving. Yishtabach shemcha la ahad malkein hu ha ela melech agadol la kadosh b'shemayim uva aretz ki lachan ha erona Elohim v'Elohi avotein v'imotein hu shir ushbacha halel v'zimra ozu memshela nitzach gedula uvura ti la v'tiferi kedusha u'malchul hu brotod v'odaot me'atavi adolam baruch ata adonai el melech adol b'tishbach od el ha'odaot adonai niflaot ha'bocher b'shirei zimra mehelech elche olamihim. Now, typically, if we had a minion, we'd be doing a sanctification. We do these throughout various parts of the service that separate the various parts. The sanctification is what's known as a Kaddish, and Kaddish is the word for holy, and um, it's a way to sanctify God. It's an opportunity to say a sanctification for Hashem. Um, you might have noticed, too, that all of our prayers start a certain way. Baruch HaTad and I, blessed are you. Now, the longer prayers, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, a God and King of the Universe, and sometimes Kiddush of Mitzvah Tav, who has commanded us through his mitzvah. Um, that's the formula that we use. So, uh, after we go into the Baruch Hu, uh, if again, if we had a minion, we'd say the Baruch Hu, we'd, op uh, we'd open the ark. Since I don't, I'm just going to go to the next paragraph. Blessed are you, Hashem, King of the universe, who forms light and creates darkness, makes peace and create all. Baruch HaTadonai, Lahina Melech HaLam, Yotzer Or Vrei Choshech, Ose Shalom Vrei Et HaKol. And we start our service. HaMeir La'aretz, Ladarim Alecha, Baruch HaMim, Uftuvo Mechadesh, Bechol Yom, Tamid, Ma'asei Vrei Sheep. He who illuminates the earth and who dwell upon it with compassion and his goodness renews daily perpetually the great the work of creation. How great are your works, Hashem. I'm going to skip that paragraph. I'm going to go to the Kaddish de Yotzer. It's the blessing of the lights, and it is the blessing of it is the blessings of the Shema. In the morning, there are two blessings before the Shema. Then there's the recitation of the Shema. There's a blessing afterwards. Then we go into the Amida, the silent standing prayer, also called the Tefillah from the Talmud, which means prayer. These are angels praising God. Now, 
The name of God, the great, mighty, awesome King, holy is He. At Shem Ha'el Hamelach Hagadol Agi Borvano Rakadosh Ruhu Vehula Mikablim Alehem Ol Machut Shemayim Zemizah Benot Nimershutz Elazeh Hele Akdish Liotz Rabbanach Ruach Besafavar Abni Maha Kedu Shakulam Keachanon Imrim Imrim VaOmrim VeYirah Here's the Here's the Kiddush part of it. Kadosh from from Isaiah. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzavah, Jeremiah. Hello, Chola, Aretz, Ki, Hivo, Doho. No, it is from Isaiah, I'm sorry. Ba'o, Fani, Vachayot, Kodesh. Rosh, Kadol, Mitnasim, Lumat, Serafim, Lumat, Hamashah, Bakim, Biyom, Rim, Baruch, Kavod, Adonai, Mim, Mim, Kom, Moho. Excuse me? Okay, so now we're starting our blessings of the Shema. This is the first blessing before the Shema. It's also called the Brachot Ma'orot, the blessing of the lights, because it basically is an acknowledgement that while you have the sun, the moon, and the stars up there, it's really God that controls it. Kind of like if you're into astrology, you know, you can do that for fun, but we don't put any credibility in the fact that the planets control mankind or humankind. It's God that does that. Who renews the work of creation every day. Or Hadash al Tsiyonta, Irvinis Kapulana Mirali O Roho, Barukatara Nayo Tserhama O Roho. Blessed are you, Hashem, who fashions the luminaries, and may you shine a new light on Zion, and may we all speedily merit its light. Hava <coughs> Rabbah, with, <coughs> with abundant love, you have loved your people, Israel. Hava Rabbah of Tanu Adonai Elohim. Hava Rabbah of Tanu Adonai Elohim. Avinu <laughs> Retain Bali Benu Leha Vihin Ul Haskilish Moa Lel Mahorula Mehilish Morvela Sodul Kayem Et Kal Devre Ta Mutora Tehabi Ahava Baha Erin Enu Betohura Tehabe Da Bekli Benu Bamitzvoteha Belo <laughs> Nagila venis mecha, Nagila venis mecha bishu atepa. One of the issues with wearing tefillin, putting these straps, and we have to do seven of them uh, on our arm, is that as you move your arm, they get a little loose and sometimes they fall down. So I kind of kind of tighten them a little bit as I go through the service. So as we ask Hashem to gather our people from the four corners of the earth and lead us with upright pride and dignity to our holy land, 
we make the symbolic gesture of gathering from the four corners of our talitot, the artsitsi. And we gather them together between the last two fingers of our right hand, or my left hand, I'm sorry, holding them thus. Amen. Here's the Shema. Here, Israel, Lord, our God, the Lord is one. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. And now we do the Via Hafta. Command to love your Lord, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your heart. And bind them as a sign upon your arm and between the head. and we kiss. So that paragraph and the next one are also the other two parchments that are in these batim or these boxes. Everything here is in plural, so because we do this as a group as well as individually. Uh, and we're responsible for each other. Eden be thankful. That's why we do a prayer after the um, after we eat bread. This is the commandment. we now take our seat seat in our right hand for the third paragraph and when we say the word seat seat we kiss it's an acknowledgement of, of the commandments. Either the tzitzit tzit comes from the word tzitz, which means to gaze at them. It's a reminder. Uh, and as we gaze on them, we will remember all of our commandments. Vaha yomer adonai moshe le mohor. Let me grab them. The bear, the minister, elva marta alechem, the fulas and tzitzi, malkin fevig de hem ledora tamba nut nu al tzitzi, akin alpha tota felet, we halachem with tzitzi, worry tum, and we gaze at them. Worry tum means to look at them. Remember all the commandments. And we do the lotatu, and do not follow. After your heart or after your mind. Just do the commandments. For your all time. Perform the commandments. So that you will be, be holy to your God. I'm the Lord your God. That brought you out of the land of Egypt. To be a God. I am the true God. And we kiss. And we do the blessing afterwards. Certain, established, enduring, fear and fair and faithful, beloved and, and cherished, delightful and present, awesome and powerful, correct and accepted, good and beautiful is this affirmation to us forever and ever. 
ויעצי ונחון בך ים וישר ונאמן וחבוב וחביב ונחמד ונעים ונורא ואדיר ונתוקם וקובל וטוב ויפה זה הדבר עשה לאלוהינו לילם באהד אמת עלי העם על כן וצרי הכל מגן ישן הוא לדור ודור הוא קיים ושמו קיים וחסון נחסון הוא מחל טוב ואמונתו ליד קיים את בוראים חיימים וכס ומרליס נאמני ונחמדים ליד עולמים עולמיים עולמיים ועל אבותינו ועלינו ועל בנינו ועל דורותינו ועל כל דור רב זרד ישראל עבדך על הראשונים ועל קרנים You are the first and you are the last. Of our tov kaiyam liolam va ehad em et v'menach pok v'u yavur em et shatach v'ad anay elokinu e'enu go'el go'el avotinu yotrinu su'ur yotrinu putinu motzilim shemeh me'elam shemecha e'en elokim zu'latech So I'm going to skip the next paragraph and I'm going to go right to well first I'm going to fix my felon a little bit. I'm going to go right to the part where we start with the introduction to our Amida. Amida means standing, and it's what uh, this is the prayer that we do three times a day, and it's meant to take the place of the offerings that we do. Yilolel Yom Baruch Hu Barach Moshe Uvenei Yisrael Echa Anushira B'Simcha Rabah Aviam Ruhu Kulaham Mihicha Mohocha Ba Elim Adonai Mihicha Mohocha Nehedar Ba Kohodesh Who is the Mung like you among the mighty, who is like you among uh, the powerful, revered and praised is doing wonders. Now that concludes the Kaddish the Yotzer, the blessings of the Shema. We now take three steps back. There are two versions to the morning and afternoon Amidah. In the evening, there's only one. We do it on our own, and then we do it in a group. I'm going to do it for you. Zor Yisrael kuma be'ezra Yisrael uftechunu mecha Yehuda ve'Yisrael go'aleinu Adonai tzvaot shemo kedosh Yisrael baruch ata Adonai ka'al Yisrael. We take three steps up replicating the three stages that Moses went up to Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments. And there are, we're going to go through 19 blessings. First blessing for our, for our patriarchs and matriarchs. Baruch atah Adonai Elohinu velohe avotinu ve'imoteinu. First bow. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Yisara, Elohe Yirivka, Elohe Rachel, Rachel, Elohe Yileah. Ha el hagadol hagibor vahanora el el yonego mel chasadim tovim vakonea akol vizocher chaste abova imod umevigo el ivne vnehem lamanchim mohobiava melachoser umo tokedu mashia umadun. Second bow. Baruch atah adonai. Shield of Abraham, helper of um, Sarah. Magen of Racham, Bezrat Sarah. Second blessing. Power, the ability of God to restore us to life in the world to come, and also the mess during the messianic age. Atagi borle alam adonai machaye meitim atarav lahoshihi ha. And we're still asking for rain up until Passover. Mashiva ruach umorida gash and mecha kel chayim bechesed mechaye meitim berachamim rabim. So mech no flim varofeh hoholim umatir asurim who can heal the sick, supports the fallen, releases the confined. Resuscitate the dead. The third blessing is the Kedusha. It's a holy, it's God's name. And your name describes your essence. We tried to reach heaven. And this is what we say when we're doing it privately. Okay, so 
If this was Shabbat, there'd be only seven blessings. The fourth blessing would be four paragraphs of the blessing for Shabbat. But the next blessing is for insight, wanting knowledge. This is for repentance. To return us to uh, your commandments. Forgiveness. We strike our, 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 our chest twice. Forgive us for we have erred, pardon us for we have uh, sinned. Sin. Redemption. Health and healing. And you can insert some names. I'm just going to look at the list I have. I'm not going to read them. Um, but you can think of people you know that can benefit from prayers and its healing. So I'm going to take a second. I'm going to, I'm going to read these to myself. This is for a year of prosperity, giving us enough rain and dew so we can grow our crops. The inga bring our exiles, in gathering of our exiles. The Kabat Shofargado, the Hirotino Vanasa, Nesliga Betsku Yotenu, the Kabat Seno Yakad Mebakum Poda Aha, Reds, Baruch Hatadanai, the Kabat Sin Kamo, Yisra Ehel, Restoration of Justice. Shiva Shoftan Barishonabio at Seno Kavatki Lava, Sammy Menogona Mohana Kaha, whom local in Otanai Lavat Kadahes Evaraha, Mimbat Sadkin of Amishpahat, Barokata, Adonai, Meloko Kate Sagat, Sadaka, Umishpahat, against heresy. This was put in here during the Middle Ages when people wanted us to, to um, give up our religion. The Malshini Mahit is out, Tihitikva, Bahoka Risha Karega to Rega to Var, Baha Oyvecha Merere to Vazitimira to Akera Shaberat Magera, Dakmia Bimri Ravi Amen, who Barokata Adonai Shaveri Vima Makmi has a dehim, the righteous. Praising the righteous. Alat Sadikiva Acha Hasidim, but Azakim, a Chabich Israel, but Aplea Tatso Frehem, but Agari, a Sedic Vehalain, Rialainu, Yakamuira Hamechad and Ilohain, who Vitinsa Kartola Hobo Kimish and Kabem Mehet, Basim Chalkino, Ima Hemlo Lambaloni Voshev, Hava Taknu, Barukata, and Imish Anam with Dak with Sadikim. But rebuilding Jerusalem. Reestablishing the Davidic reign for kingship. Accept our prayers. Restoring the temple service. If it was Rosh Chodesh, a new month, if it was the middle part of Passover, uh, the intermediate days of Sukkot, there would be a special prayer we would insert here. 
Betechas ain't nine nine of Shuvchal, Sion Baracha, Mim Baha, Rochata, Adonai, the Machazir Shkona, Tolitzi, Yohon. Prayer of Thanksgiving, the third bow. We pray, we gratefully thank you for the miracles that you bring, that you bring every day. Modim anachnu lahak shatahu adonai elohim nubela elohi avotinu v'imotinu le'elam hazeh tzor chayinu magin yishenu atahu l'dor v'ador hor no delacha unsegir to atecha achayinu hamserim biadecha v'al nishmotinu hapkudot laha v'al nishekha shibachol yomim mahanu v'al nifloteka v'tov v'techa shibachol et erev v'abol kev v'tzaharayim atov kilu chalu rafa mehecha v'ham rachim kilu t'mucha sadecha melam kivinu la now, if this was Hanukkah or Purim, there'd be another insert right here. Fourth bow. Now, this is where we would insert the prayer for the priestly blessing, where we would say what we said in the morning. I'm going to skip it. Um, may Hashem bless you and safeguard you, etc. So here's the blessing for peace. Sim shalom tova avracha, chen vaches evracha, mimaleno vel koisra el amecha, bar chen uavinu kulanu keacha bor panecha, kibor panecha natata laha, nu adonai elohi, nu tor chen vahasrat hesed, utsaka avracha, avracha mim vachayam, shalom vetove necha, levarecha tamacha, yisrael bachol edu vachol sha'a, bishlomecha, barucha ta adonai, avarecha tamo yisrael ba shalom. Now, this last part is something we uh, typically only do when we're praying alone, but I'm going to do it aloud because it says, guard my tongue from evil and my lips from speaking deceitfully to those who curse me. Let my soul be silent and let my soul be dust. Now, everyone, open my heart to your Ra, then my soul will pursue your commandments. We bow. We take three steps back. May he who makes peace in his heights make peace upon us and upon all, all Israel. May expressions of our mouth and thoughts of our heart and find favor for you, Hashem, our God. Say shalom, Ramavia. Say shalom, Alein. Uvi al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Okay, so, so now let's do a little Torah study. This is this week's Torah portion. I'm going to go through it quickly, but I'm going to go through it. Uh, typically, on Mondays and Thursdays, they would actually have a short Torah service. Uh, it'd be short. They would call three uh, people to the Torah. <clears throat> and, well, that's Exodus. They would call three people to the Torah. Like I said, it'd be short, three quick, short readings. Um, and they do that because people typically go to the market Monday and Thursday. Also, because they thought that, you know, since the Israelites wandering in the desert would come upon a well every three days, they feel they felt like water is kind of a metaphor for Torah. So we're in Shemini. The, um, this is in uh, Exodus. It's the portion of Shemini, meaning eight. And the reading is chapter 10, verse 12, to chapter 11, verse 32. Badabermoshe, <laughs> 
בעוונותיך, הייתה הק, כי הק חב, הק בניך ניתנו, מזבחי שלמי בני ישראל, שוקת שומה, אבא הזה כתפה, אישי הלווים ויביאו, ואני בתומפה לפני אדוני, ויהלכה לבניך, הידך והחלם, כאשר ציפה אדוני. So as we go through this, basically this is the laws of Kashrut. And God is telling uh, Moses and Aaron, this is what you can, these, if, if you got to be, you know, if you want to eat meat, this is what, you know, the animals you can eat. Clove and hoof, choose its gut. Cows, deer, for example. Uh, fish, you can eat anything with fish with, with fins and scales. Birds, only birds, uh, domesticated birds, like pigeons. Yeah, pigeons, jerk, turkey, chicken, those. Third Aliyah is where we get into the Kashrut. Seven Aliyah, we're on four. Ed said, Tokluhu, me call a sherba mayim, call a sherlo, me some sema sena fee, sena pier, uva kaske, said, Bamai, and Bayamim, uva ma halim, otam, tochelu, fits the fins and scales. Behaw, a sherin lo, menas pier, a kaske, said. Five. They're naming animals. Six. Call <laughs> 
These are insects. You can't eat an insect that crawls on all fours, but if it's got bottom, if it's got back legs that where the knees are higher than that leap to leap, you can eat them. Grasshoppers and locusts. Yes, they're kosher. Well, Seven. <laughs> Or Osha Saha Kokali, Asher Yasem Lacha Bachem Bamayim Yuba, Tameat Erev Taher. Okay. Let's do Ashrei, we'll do Alenu, and we'll finish up. Trej Revetacha, Oyalucha Sela, Shramska Halo, Ashram Shad, and Nilo Hati Lot Ladavid. Aramimkel Chaya Melech, Bravachashim Chali Lamba Ed, Bachoya Marachacha, Balashim Chali Lamba Ed. I don't under nine Loma O, Ruglaton, take care. Go to the door to Bakmasaka, Kabod Machutel Yameru, Urata, the Beru, the Dale of Ne of Dambrota, the Fada Machuto, Malku Kamaku Kalamim, and Shatta Kabako door by door, so Mechan and Alakon of Flims, and Kafaka for Fihim, and Ekol and Saberu, by Tano Telakam and the Flamba Etel, Koho Teak at Yadaka, must be a little high rat soon, Tadi can have a cold Raka, the Sibahama Asahab, the Falchary Kura. But Sonia Rabia said, Have Chabatam, Yashmabi, Yashi aim, shall Mary and I call a Baha, Vekosha, Im Yashmi heap, the lot and I to be a pea heap, be break up a sarshin, could surely lamb a head, but not noon, you barrack, ya me a taviatalam, hallelujah. Ah, Lena Shabeach la dohun, ha cola, take to do laliot, say, hair bray sheet, shallow a son who could go yea at so below some man and Mishpachota Hadama, shallow some Kinuka and Bagorelli, Nukaha, Hamonam, Banach, Nuko, Rim, Umishtaha, Bim, Umodim, with name Melech, Malchia, Machim, Akadosh, Parochu. Shahuna Teshamayim Vyosed Aret, Umasha Vikaro Bashamayam Imaal, Ushkina Tuzo, Ushkina Tuzo, Begafe Meheromi, Huela Hainu Ehin Od Emmet Malkin, who Efesu Lato, Kaka to Betorato, Viadata Hayam Bahashevota, Ella Bahavaha, Kieranai, who are Elohim Bashamayam Imaal, Yaha Aret, Tahat, Ain Od, Malkin Gabelakar and Elohim. Kaga tu betora te karana im loho clila humba ed, the ne em mar, the haya adonai, the melech al kaha ahoret, bayomaha hu, bayomahu ye adonai echad, ushmoho, ushmoho, ushmo echad, ushmo echad. So today is the second day <coughs> when the Levites. Uh, officiated in the temple. It's the second day after um, Shabbat. Hayom Yom Shabbat Kodesh. Shabu Hayom Bebein Uved Hamadash Mizmor. Shir Mizmor Levnei Korach. This is the the Psalm for Monday is Psalm forty eight, and it's the sons of Korach. Yes, that Korach. The sons wanted nothing to do with what he did, and they became very devout ministers and psalmists. 
Thank you for joining me. Hope uh, it uh, was good, inspirational, and it helped you start your week.